Hello, hello, hello. This is Miss Marshall coming to you on the World Wide Web. Now, I just thought I'd take some time to come and talk to you about something that's been heavily weighing on my mind. Dating in these years is something else I'm going to have to tell you. Now, let me just get right to it. And you tell me what you think about this. Now, I went to my local corner store to get some gas. And this young fella come up to me and, you know, he presented himself, you know, in a way that I thought was nice. You know, he asked me, you know, he thought I was very attractive and thought he'd like to get to know me a little better. Now, you know, usually I don't know, give him a side eye. Don't you approach me. Okay, I'm a lady. But he said he wanted to invite me to his church and take me out to eat. And he sounded like a nice gentleman. Not many invite you to their church. So we exchanged numbers and we talked for a couple of days and then we decided to meet because you know you ain't going to pick me up at my house. I don't know you like that. So he gave me this address, you know, and, 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 and I met him. And it happened to be at a shopping center. You know, at a Walmart shopping center, you know, they had all these little places in there, Walmart, a, a, a couple of other convenience stores, little restaurants, things like that. So, uh, I met him there, you know, now first thing, you know, impressions is everything that when I met him, now I know we're going to go to church, but I tell you the truth, that boy came down there in his Sunday best, Okay. All his, uh, what you call them, colors that's very light and bright. You know, it had some pinks on and some shades of green and whatnot. I said, okay, all right, you're looking sharp. Okay, so I thought we was going to meet. And then I, he was going to tell me where we was going to go because he said, what you like to eat? And you know, I love seafood. I love seafood. He said, I got the right spot for you. You know, these people know me and all oh, they seafood is so good. You can order whatever you want. So I met him at the, you know, uh, Walmart shopping center. I thought I was going to have to follow him to the restaurant. So he gets out. He said, well, come on over here. Let me, let me show you where my spot is. I look around. I don't see no restaurants. And as we continue to walk, I'm following him to this place that he says is so great and wonderful. Uh, and as we're approaching, I see the sign says, Seafood, EBT accepted. Now, I'm a lady and I've never heard of a restaurant like that before, so I didn't say nothing, you know. And uh, we proceed to go inside, and as you go inside, there's this, like, butcher counter kind of thing, but it had, like, crab legs, shrimp. Uh, catfish, everything. A little Asian boy came out. He said, hey, man, you know, let me take you. Good to see you again. What you want to eat? He looked at me real proud like he said, ah, you can order anything you want. I said, okay. He said, let me tell you something. It's a secret. A lot of people don't know this, but if you got food stamps, they'll cook it for you for free. Now, I ain't had food stamps since 1982. Okay. I said, oh, that's wonderful. I don't want to be judgmental. So I placed my order, and as I'm looking around the establishment, I see that there's no tables, no chairs, really. So I'm thinking to myself, well, we're going to eat our food. So they got our food ready for us. We take it, and I says, okay, I'm looking at him like, you know, because a man needs to lead, okay? I'm old scoop. All right. Well, he said, follow me. So we go back to the parking lot and the uh, Walmart shopping center. He said, go ahead and eat your food in the car. And I'm going to eat mine in my car and then, and then we're going to go on to church. I said, okay. So I go to my car. Now I'm thinking, well, Maybe we can go to a park or something and eat and get to know each other better. But I'm eating my food alone in my car. Eating his food alone in his car. 
after about five minutes, and I'm going to tell you something, that damn seafood was good as hell. I'm going to have to go back there myself. But I digress. So after about five, ten minutes, said, now, I'll go back to this car, knock on this window. I said, hey. And as I'm knocking, I'm looking around this car. I said, well, ain't this sign? I couldn't even sit in his car with him if I wanted to because I swear for God he had clothes in the back, tools in the front. I couldn't sit in there if I wanted to. Okay. Now this was a new one on me. I said, well, uh, what what do you want me to do? I said, was the food good? I told you that food was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. He said, well, go ahead and get in your car, baby, and then follow me to the church. Okay. Yeah, I fall into the church. And I tell you, the way he was dressed, folks at the church, you know, was looking at him like, hey, what, what are you doing? And I say, hey, how you doing, everyone? You know, I'm trying to be sociable. So we get in there, and it, they did praising and singing. It was wonderful, but I tell you, I ain't heard so many old Negro spirituals before in my life. So many. It was wonderful. It did good for my spirit. Okay? It was wonderful. But when I tell you this man was jumping and shouting louder than the church women in there. Okay, get 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 your spirit together. You know, I understand that, but Okay. He was shouting like old church mug. Folks was looking back at him like, Hallelujah. God bless you. Okay, so after this service, we go to the cars, and I was like, you know, thank you, and everything is a wonderful time. I'm trying to be polite. He said, well, baby, you want to go to the movies? And I said, no, you know, I got some things to do, so I left, he said. Okay, I'll call you later. So he called me later. He said, you know, I got to go to Miami for about a month. I'm helping my daughter move. It take you a month to help your daughter move? Okay, whatever. That ain't my business. He said, so uh, you want to get together today and go to the movies? I said, no, baby. I got some things to do, but I'll holler at you when you get back. He said, okay. But he sounded a little upset. You know, he didn't say, okay. He was like, oh, well, you know, I ain't going to be back for a month. Hey, hey, hey. I, said, I, 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 I feel some tension in your voice. I feel a little tension. I said, but that's all right. I'll I see, I see you when you get back. Okay? So he called me a couple of times. That I was going through things. I'm like, okay. I talked to him once, and after a while, I'm just, my thing is, I'll see you when you get back. Okay? So now, a month or so passed by, I go to the same corner store. I'm in line paying for something. I think I got a pickle or something. I like my kosher pickles. You know, in the big bag, you know. Put that little seasoning on. It's really wonderful. So I see at the corner of my my peripheral. He come in. I said, oh, Lord. He say, hey, Simone. I said, hey. I'm sorry, Lord. Forgive me, but I didn't remember that man's name. I didn't remember it. I said, well, it's good to see you back. He said, I've been back for a month. Well, Congratulations. You understand me, don't you? You got a little bass in your voice. So I turn around, I look at the little Arab man back there. You know the Arab man love me at the corner store. I'm like, that dude kind of like look after me because I don't want to have to choke this summer gun out. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, so he get his little scratch off ticket, goes to the corner, scratch it out. I'm like, why he's so mad? I understand. So, let me just say this, Mr. Gentleman's out there that's trying to date people. My father told me a long time ago, a man ain't got no god darn business asking a woman out if, number one, he ain't got money in his pocket, and number two, he ain't got a table to feed on. This summer gun couldn't even present me with a table. Now, I'm not picky. He could have had me a table at the park or whatever. I'm sitting in my car by myself eating this stuff. I could have did that by my goddamn self. You understand me? You need a man that's going to lead. If he can't present you with a goddamn table, 
What the hell you going to do for me? Because I got some lots I can do for you. Okay. Now that's one of the bare minimum requirements. God, can we get a table to eat on? And you have the audacity to come back and get upset with me because I ain't talked to you in a month. I ain't asked you to leave for a month. You got things to do as a grown ass man. Go ahead and take care of your business. Hit me up when you get back. I don't know what's going on these days. Maybe I should look for younger gentlemen. Because these old son of a son of a, I don't understand. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. You know, I've been out of the dating scene for quite some time. But that right there was some bullshit talking. You understand what I'm saying? I just don't understand. I think they need to get their stuff together. I'll let you later. I'm about to drink my wine and go to sleep.